Incredible to see HBAR moving so aggressively over this past month. I'm back now with some daily HBAR updates. Let me know in the comment section below if that is what, something that you want to continue to see going forward. I'm going to be bringing my thoughts and opinions based on TA uh, on HBAR in this update. But what has actually led to this breakout are some fundamental news events, the potential ETF, as well as the incentives for American-based crypto uh, companies to uh, for US-based investors to make tax-free gains. So there's now incentive for American investors to enter um, American-based projects. That is why we're seeing the likes of XRP and HBAR and XLM all pumping four to five hundred percent all within the last month. In fact, seven hundred percent for HBAR thanks to its huge gain in the last day. Now it's currently up eleven percent today, but since yesterday we are up sixty six percent in total. An incredible journey HBAR has been on the past couple of years, where it's fizzled out a good few times, but with all these bullish incentives. We've seen the rise, and this is not retail actually buying, guys. Make sure you, you make sure you realize that. Um, where is HBAR going for future targets? So we're looking at the all-time high, of course. What I would show down here is the structure break of this resistance. We can see that through the EMAs as well, and when price is above the EMAs, we know that we're in this uptrend. Uh, if I'm looking for potential targets to the upside, I'm going to use my fib retracement tool. And we are already coming into some macro targets, right? This Fibonacci is going back to uh, April of 2024. And so it's measuring this dump from the beginning of the year pretty much to the November bottom. Uh, a lot of coins bottomed out in August, July, August, but it took until November and then the bullish news with Trump winning and all these bullish incentives for HBAR to really start its run. We've already come in some macro targets between 33 and 36 cent. So this rejection does not come as a surprise. What I would suggest is in fact, guys, if we can close the daily candle above 33 cent, we are looking for continuation to 45 cent. But if we see, and all you need to do is wait for the closes and then you know, okay, Lou said, if it closes above this level, it's going to do this. And if it closes below this level, it's going to do this. I'm not there with sitting with you in your room, uh, wherever you are, uh, you know, holding your hand when this daily candle closes. So I'm just going to tell you what happens if it closes like this or like that. So closing above 33 cent, it's going to 45. Closing beneath, we're looking at 27 cent all the way up until 30 cent, this area over here, to act as a level of support. If I ever were to see the 1272 27 cent getting lost, then we're going to put in a deeper correction back down to the 18 to 20 cent mark. I'm not envisioning this at the moment. Although we are at macro targets, it just calls for a consolidation, a slowdown. So if we see a consolidation between 27 and 45, it's not a surprise. But the end goal is that it continues higher to 80 cents after this period. And this would be a new all-time high for HBAR. A further gain of 130% on top of your 700% gain. Now, I am making this HBAR update for the HBAR community, although I'm not personally invested myself. I will tell you why. Now, one great thing is that I can still take advantage of leverage trading these moves, as I have been doing in my Discord. If you do want uh, to check that out, the links are in the description below. But getting back to the point, I just believe that just because these are first movers, they do not mean they will be the best movers. And I've shared some examples in my Bitcoin update. Please, I urge you all to also watch my Bitcoin updates on a daily basis because it's really going to tell us when altcoins can move, you know, as Bitcoin enters consolidation ranges as it is doing right now. It's allowing the altcoins to move up. That's why we're seeing these large caps pumping. And then slowly, just because of human nature with greed, uh, people will look to diversify even more. So that's why we're seeing Bitcoin uh, people that were in from 15K, 20K taking profits. 
after significant gains, whether they're on 4x, 5x or more, they have now uh, using the psychological level of 100k to diversify into altcoins. We're seeing the large caps take the brunt of it currently, but this always trickles down. The fact that you're seeing these dinosaur coins, XRP, XLM, HBAR, Quant, all these coins, dinosaur coins, large cap blue chip coins, pumping super aggressively, things that we have not seen, especially for uh, XRP, something that we haven't seen for seven, eight years. For HBAR, it's taken a good few years to get these exciting moves once again. It really has been since 2020, 2021, since we've got these vertical movements. So the holders of HBAR, the holders of these large caps that are pumping right now, have gone through some tough times. And what I would say is that you guys deserve this. But just know that these will not be the best gainers. Now, this doesn't mean they're not going to continue to go up. I've already talked about some bullish targets that I have uh, going forward as long as we can maintain 27 and 30 cent. I do envision HBAR getting up to 80 cent. And as it's a first mover, it's great because we're seeing funds going up very aggressively in the immediate short term. But this could be signs for you to de-risk some and look at diversifying your portfolio. If there's, if you want any help with that, consider doing the one-to-one -one mentorship or joining the Discord community. Again, links are found in the description down below. But yeah, if you want to see further updates on HBAR on the channel, let me know in the comment section below. Stay tuned with other altcoin videos on the channel. I will be sharing some uh, mid and low cap gems on the channel that I've been personally investing in over this period. And I expect all those coins to do very similar movements in terms of how they look, but the actual gains will be far superior than these large caps. Large caps are just getting some Bitcoin right now for moving into it. And eventually this will all trickle down into mid and low caps as they are smaller. They will pump more aggressively day by day. And what you're seeing here with H bar moving 20, 24, 50, 25, 17, and 64% two-day candles, you will see very similar, in fact, much larger daily, two-daily candles over on those mid to large caps. So stay tuned on the channel. Uh, again, I will be bringing more HBAR updates. Just be aware that we want to close above 33 cent for instant continuation to 45 cent. And if we do see a close beneath this, we want to maintain 27 and we should still see 80 cents going forward. I do see higher price targets, but let's just focus on breaking the all-time high first and meeting his first technical target. Like, subscribe, comment, and share so we can get to 9K as quick as possible. And again, links down below if you want to enter the community or follow me on Twitter for daily updates. Cheers, everyone.